This time I will be making this beautiful heart of Romanian point lace cord and net stitch filling. To do this we need a sponge mat, a cord about 33-35 cm long, a tapestry needle and thread for filling and some pins. Before we start, I recommend you to draw the shape of the heart you want to make on a paper. Then make a cord of necessary lengths and join it in the round by sewing the ends together. You can follow the crochet cord tutorial 47 to learn how to make the exact same cord. Now pin your cord to the pattern. I placed the paper on the sponge mat so I can pin my cord to this pattern. Once you are done and your heart has the shape you wanted, we can begin to make the net filling. First I'm going to work from the right to the left till this line. And then I will be working from the opposite side going to the center. Begin the first row of stitches going from the bottom to the top. Work with the tapestry needle and thread. First go along the cord to the first side loop you're going to begin to work through. Here I'm going to start from this side loop. So insert the needle through and pull the yarn. Now we can begin the first row working the Brussels stitch. Skip the next side loop of the cord, insert the needle from the bottom to the top through the next loop. Hold the working thread below the needle and pull it through. The first stitch is made. Don't make it too tight. Try to make all stitches the same size. Now repeat. Skip the next side loop on a cord and work through the second one. Insert the needle. Make sure that the working thread is below the needle and pull it through. The second stitch is made. For your convenience, if you want to make sure that you are making even stitches, you can fix each loop with pins like this. So then you can see the size of each loop. Continue this way. Skip the next side loop and work through the second one. We are working single net stitches or single buttonhole stitches in every second side loop of the cord. Work all the way to the top. Here I am about to complete the first row. Here I am making the last stitch. Now let's go down working the second row. Work one net stitch in every loop created before. So insert the needle through the next loop. Make sure that the thread runs below the needle and pull it through. All loops should be the same size. Continue this way. Work all the way to the bottom.
here I'm about to complete the second row and we can begin the next one. I'm working the last stitches here. And one more, the last one. Now to begin the next row, insert the needle from the top to the bottom through the side loop of the cord that is right in front of our last stitch. Pull the thread through. And work through the next side loop as well. Work the same way, insert the needle from the top to the bottom. Now I can work the third row of Brussels stitch. Work one stitch in every loop created before, going from the bottom to the top of our heart. Here I reached the top and completed the third row. Now to begin the next row, carry the thread through the cord up to the next side loop. And again, work single net stitch into each loop created before. This row I'm working going from the top to the bottom. Let's complete this row. I'm making the last stitch here. Now skip this last loop on previous row and again work through the side loop of our cord that is in front of the stitch we made. Insert the needle from the top to the bottom through the side loop and pull the thread through. Then work through the next side loop Pull the thread to make the net stitches lie straight. And continue with the next row of stitches going all the way to the top of our heart. Work a single net stitch through in each loop. Work row by row in this way until you reach the line on our pattern. Here I'm making the last row of stitches on the right side of my heart. Continue the same work as single stitch in each loop of previous row. Because it is my last row, I'm making the loops a little smaller. But anyway, try to make them the same size. Couple more stitches to go. Now 
And now to complete this row, insert the needle through the side loop of the cord and pull the thread. As you can see here is our line on a pattern and I worked through side loops on the cord that are on this line and I completed this right side of my heart. Now let's take a look at our netting. Here on top I work through an 8 second loop of our cord and on the bottom through each loop. And on this part here I worked a couple of times through the same loop just to keep my rows of netting straight. Let's continue. Let's fix this last stitch by making one more stitch through the same loop. And for now just leave this thread, do not cut it. You would need to work with it later to make a nice edge here. Now begin to work the same net from this side, working row by row to the center. Let's turn the work upside down to make it easy. Begin the same way as we did before. Carry the thread through the cord to the side loop that we need to begin with. Then pull the thread through the side loop Here we're gonna start from this loop and work the first row. Skip one side loop and work through the second one. Work a single net stitch. Continue work single net stitch through an each second side loop of the cord. The first row is made, now begin the second row. Work single net stitch through an each loop created before. When you work the stitch make sure your thread runs below the needle. Continue and work row by row in this way until you reach the side loops of the cord that are on the line. Here I completed this side of my heart. Now to make a nice edge here, pull the thread through each loop. Just insert the needle and pull it through the loop like this. Do not make a stitch. Just pull the thread through each loop. Work all the way till the end of this row. Here I have all loops on the strand. Now pull them a little and fix it by making a stitch through the side loop of our cord. Like this. Now to make a nice edge, work treble net stitch through an edge loop on previous row. Here I made one stitch. Work two more stitches through the same loop. Two and the last one through the same loop.
frame. Now through the next loop work 3 stitches as well. 1 2 and the last one through the same loop. And continue this way till the end of this row. Here I completed this row and the row on the opposite side. And now to hide the tail I'm going to pass the thread through the cord and cut it. After that you can take your heart off the mat. In this tutorial, we've made this beautiful needle lace heart using the Romanian point lace cord. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.